Yo, it's Destructo, coming at you guys raw. Well, I got my uh, enlisted help, Buckaroo on the camera, being the best camera girl in the whole wide world. Thank you, Buckaroo. You're welcome. Hey, yeah, doesn't matter. Had a girl. Well, reason for this is because it's an important time to show some support uh, for my end of the crew. I got brother, Army Singer. 150, boop, who's doing his contest appreciate, uh, excuse me, subscriber appreciation giveaway. It's not a contest, it's a giveaway. Uh, 800 and some odd things, but when I checked, he's got 906. Fantastic, bro. You literally deserve a thousand more. No joke. But it's an incredible feat uh, for being here almost a full year. Awesome, bro. Uh, but what... What uh, you want to know is two shout-outs with three movies. Bro, it's difficult. I'm a guy who likes to give back. I love shouting out people who deserve it. Show effort and respect. That's it, bro. I'm, I'm hugely for that. Uh, you have uh, lacking quality in either of those. You are not worth our time at all. So, there are a lot of people on the YT giving back. Uh, you know, I had guys and girls, and I had multiples, man, uh, of, of going through. Man, I, I ended up, I kept my shout-outs to a minimum, because uh, I had a hard time. Being, being uh, you know, the girls needed attention. And, and going through and, and doing everything, I, uh, I put in a little more time than I wanted to trying to come up with my pick for, that's right, uh, for the top three war movies. I couldn't do it. Came up with my top three positions, and I mirrored them. That's what I had to do. Get to the point. Make this fast. Um, third place, Patriot. I took a valuable... Uh, piece, uh, you know, a one-liner from the Patriot that showed our superior tactics at the time with aiming small, missing small uh, versus volley fire. Aim small, miss small. It's something that, that stayed with me. I, I promote it. Uh, I learned, uh, and I, you know, I learned from it. Uh, it helped out. Saving Private Ryan's there too, bro. Saving Private Ryan is one of those ones when when the conflict happens and the opening scenes. Holding on for that, you know, you're dropping. It feels like a roller coaster, bro. But for like, you know, 10, 15 minutes, I forget the length of duration, where you're just going down and it's that... You know, that incredible sensation of, oh my God, I can't believe these, these guys. This is what, you know, our, our forefathers uh, did for our country. So, and I know it's an artistic uh, rendition of it, but, you know, it, it's, it's that. It gives you that feeling of pride. I'm proud to be American. And that's what it, it did for me. Third, uh, so... In our family, though, second, second, uh, second place tied in there is going to be the uh, the John Wayne movies. Watched these a lot as a kid. Uh, westerns was a big deal in our family. We watched westerns more than we did cartoons, uh, you know. Uh, so when John Wayne ended up coming out with some war movies, we were big fans of John Wayne in this in this house. Uh, so the Green Berets. Uh, with the uh, Sands of Iwo Jima. Uh, th these are two movies that got a lot, a lot of viewing in my youth. I, I mean, it's just the way it goes. Uh, number one was very easy for me, but it was the hardest one because I, I was debating back and forth between, uh, you know, the you know, first, you know, I was going to make a first, a second, I was going back and forth, but let me just put it to you quick. Hamburger Hill. And 
and uh, Platoon. Hamburger Hill was one of those things that it gave me a sense of, of uh, you know, putting all this effort, the whole movie, you're, just, you're, you're feeling these guys' pain, the suffering, and seeing all the effort and, and enduring grief that they're, they're putting in just to make it to the top of that hill so they can walk back down. And then Platoon. Platoon was one of those movies I, I watched it so many, it's one of the few movies that I've watched so many times I actually knew every word to the movie. Uh, not only did I know every word to the movie as a kid, uh, my brothers knew every word to the movie. Uh, my friends knew the words to the movie. We would have, we, we'd get in, you know, messing around, we would, we would uh, just have one-liner debates from the movie. We just, you know, I mean, it's just things like that. If I put as much time into studying uh, as I did watching that movie, I'd have a doctorate. I know, a waste of youth. Uh, but from there, that's my three. Uh, I think all, all six of those are, are a fantastic movie. There's tons, tons more. I was on a, a first take it to the, uh, the, the obscure, uh, getting those uh, less known war movies in, but I decided to take it to where my top three by three. Uh, I hope that's okay. As far as the shout outs, boop. Uh, I'm going with As I Lay Dying, 1984. Uh, I've been recently looking at his videos. I even, uh, you know, did a video response to a question uh, he gave me just because of how respectful this guy is. There's absolutely Zero ignorance or uh, cockiness in anything he does, which is just phenomenal. The guy has an amazing, amazing collection of knives. He has, um, you know, 81 videos. That's awesome. Uh, all of them quality. Uh, you know, it, it just, I haven't found one video I, I dislike. Um, keeps them short. To the point, no sales pitch. I, I just, I like it. Uh, opinions, uh, just great. Great knife reviews on some quality, quality pieces. Number two is uh, Mega Simon. Oh, boop. Mega Simon, uh, 999. Guy is phenomenal. He's all about. Um, He's got 130 videos uh, all about, the, you know, prepping, uh, survival, uh, the gear you need. Uh, his mentality is to try to, you know, give you an honest opinion so you can save uh, money. Uh, trial and effort. Gear costs money. Uh, time's valuable. Cut to the point. You know what I mean? Uh, one thing uh, I really, really uh, enjoy about Mega Simon 999's channel. It's all about respect. Just like this guy. Uh, if you, he says right in his uh, channel description, if you feel you have to leave a comment, swearing uh, or like will get you banned or blocked. Just like this guy. Uh, if you're having a bad day, I'm paraphrasing now, if you're having a bad day and you feel like uh, you have to critique something, be respectful. You know, all else uh, should be avoided. I love that. But just like this guy, just like Army Stinger 150, just like the crew, we love constructive criticism. So does he. So does he. Uh, and you know what? All questions and all comments are valuable as long as they're respectful. Because we are mirrors. That's what I respect uh, is the people who who deserve that sort of shout out? Well, and it, there's a wealth of them. So I, you know, just going down to two, it's hard, man. But for here, brother, I hope that you got the respect you deserve because I'm. I literally, I say this stuff uh, not with any candor or any kidding, any joking. Uh, you deserve 
ten times. Uh, but for now, I'm a single 150. Brother! Sorry I don't have any coffee, because you know it's smell vision time. Bro, good luck. For now, it's Destructo saying, hope I didn't blow this. Out!